nothing but two inconclusive speculations convinced the world's press that SARS-2 could not have escaped from a lab. A technical critique of the Anderson letter takes it down in harsher words. Science is supposedly a self-correcting community of experts who constantly check each other's work. So why didn't other virologists point out that the Anderson Group's argument, that second letter, was full of absurdly large holes? Perhaps because in today's university, speech can be very costly. Careers can be destroyed for stepping out of line. Any virologist who challenges the community's declared view risks having his next grant application turned down by the panel of fellow virologists that advises the government grant distribution agency. And they